Welcome to the Highway Oversize Overweight Credentialing System, also known as Hooks, user tutorial videos. This video will guide you through the div load self-service amend process in Hooks at hooks.dot.ny.gov. Customers can access Hooks through the one-stop credentialing and registration system, also known as OSCAR, at www.oscar.ny.gov. This and other tutorial videos can be found by clicking the Help button at the top right of the company dashboard and throughout other pages of the application and on the landing page once the logout button is clicked. Customers needing a div load amend will be able to process a self-service amend without permit office intervention for permit types, configurations, requested weight, and trailers. If an amend for power unit, start date, or end date is required, an amend request must be submitted to the permit office. Permit class is not eligible for amends. Please note that only one amend per permit can be processed at a time. If there is an amend pending for the permit needing changes, a message will be displayed that this permit is currently in the process of being amended. A new amend cannot be started at this time. To amend a div load permit, or to continue a saved amend, click the Select link next to an issued or issued prior permit. Then select the Self-Service Amend option. The Order Permit screen will be displayed. On the Order Permit screen, be sure to verify and edit all contact information if needed. For an amend, review the requested weight and make changes if needed. Permit types can be added during the amend process. Existing permit types cannot be removed from the permit application, but they can be unchecked for configurations on the next screen, also known as the Vehicle and Load Information screen. Statewide and downstate permits can all be ordered on the same application for the same VIN as long as all requirements are met for downstate rights and there is available weight. If banked weight is not available, the downstate permit section will be grayed out. Users can view the permit types and fees by clicking the Click Here to View Permit Types and Fees link. This will display a PDF for the types of divisible load overweight permits, axle counts, fees, and other pertinent information. Clicking the Next button will display the Vehicle and Load Information screen. The Vehicle and Load Information screen is where all previously permitted vehicle information, axle entries, and configurations are listed. The power unit information cannot be amended. If the power unit needs to be amended, the self-service amend needs to be canceled, by clicking the Exit button and an amend request needs to be submitted to the Permit Office. Once cancelled, to request an amend, click the Select link next to an issued or issued prior permit. Then select the Request Amend option. During the Div Load Self-Service Amend, configurations can be edited, added, and deleted, including axle entries. The Enter Axles button will allow users to change all entries on the Set Axle Weights screen. All configurations listed can be deleted or edited. Trailers can also be edited including deleting trailers, adding trailers, and changing all other information on existing trailers. Click the Add Trailer button if adding a trailer to an existing configuration. You can add and enter as many trailers as needed for each configuration by clicking the Add Trailer button. Trailers can be removed by clicking the red X icon to the left of the trailer information. If removing all trailers on an existing configuration, select the No Trailers checkbox. Change the combined GVWR if needed. The combined GVWR should be the total registered weight of the tractor and the trailer. Otherwise, the amended permit could be issued for a lower weight than requested. Select the Permit Type checkbox for each permit type that will be added to the existing configuration. Click the Enter Axles button to make changes to the axle information. If needed, Review and edit the axle entries for the power unit on Configuration 1. All axles for the tractor and trailer must be entered. Check the corresponding on-tractor checkboxes for all axles that are on the tractor and leave the on-tractor checkboxes blank for the trailer axles. If there is no trailer, all on-tractor checkboxes must be selected for each axle. Please note that the power unit information, including axles, must remain the same for all configurations. If needed, review and edit the spacing between each axle. This can be done in feet and inches or just inches. If needed, review and edit the manufactured axle rating for each axle. If needed, 
Review and edit the number of tires and enter the sum of the manufactured tire ratings per axle in the corresponding fields. If the sum of the manufactured tire rating for one tire is 8,000 pounds, then two tires would be 16,000 pounds or four tires would be 32,000 pounds. For the tire count, two tires must be trackable. If there is a lift axle, both boxes must be checked. Click the Validate Weights and Close button to validate the axle entries. If the Validate Weights and Close button is not clicked, the axle entries will be cleared and need to be re-entered. If there is an issue with any axles entered, Hooks will alert you with a message. You will then be able to correct any errors. Once the axle information has been validated, hover over the Permit Type hyperlink to display and verify the permitted GVW and the maximum allowed weight for each axle group. For permit types no longer needed on the configuration, uncheck the Permit Type checkbox on the configuration. Please note that the GVWR trailer length if there are trailers, and axle entry will be the same for all trailers in this configuration. Repeat this process for any additional configurations entered. If additional configurations are needed, click the Add New Configuration button. This will allow you to enter a new configuration for your vehicle and trailer combination and order other permit types that are needed. For other permit types to be available, they had to have been selected on the first screen of the application. Enter the new configuration information including combined GVWR. Even if there are no trailers on existing configurations, trailers can be added to existing or additional configurations by clicking the Add Trailer button and entering the axles for the trailer. Be sure to enter the axle information for the additional configurations if trailers are added. For each configuration, hover over the Permit Type hyperlink for Permit Types selected to confirm your permitted weight. Configurations can be added by clicking the Add New Configuration button or removed by clicking the yellow Delete button as needed. All configurations can be deleted as needed. Once all changes have been entered and all vehicle information and permitted weights are verified, click the Next button to proceed with the amend process. If there are errors on the screen, the system will alert users as to what needs to be corrected. There are some common messages that are displayed. A message will be displayed if a permit type was requested but not selected for any configuration. Certain configurations with a trailer length over 53 feet that have permit types selected that don't allow that trailer length will also display a message for exceeding the permit type length. The VIN validation message will alert users to click the OK or Cancel button to change and edit the VIN entered. The Type 9 attest statement will also be displayed. Please be sure to read the message for Type 9 permits and vehicles that are year 2006 and newer about the lift axle air pressure controls. Click the OK button once you have read the message. This will bring users to the Special Items page. A valid vehicle registration or cab card must be uploaded when users are requesting an amend for a power unit replacement. Since the power unit cannot be changed as part of the self-service amend, no upload is required. Click the Next button. The Permit Fee Summary screen is where all information, including the vehicle information, dimensions, and fees should be verified. Verify the fees listed are correct. Verify the amend information, which includes the permit type, all configurations, and vehicle information from the previous screen. If there are any errors, click the Back button at the bottom of the page to go back and correct the entries. Attest that you have read and understand all the legal requirements for ordering a permit within Hooks by clicking the associated checkbox. The permit will not be able to be amended unless users have read and checked the attest box statement. Click the Amend Permits button to amend the permit. The amend will now be located in the shopping cart if you do not wish to pay for it now. From this screen, you can return to the dashboard or pay for the amend. Since this is a self-service amend, you can click the Pay for Permits Now link to proceed with the payment. Verify the permits listed for payment or those that were selected for the amend. Click the Pay for Verified Permits button to continue the payment process or click the Cancel button to return to the company dashboard. The payment information screen will be displayed. Select the payment method from the drop down list and click the Submit button. If escrow is selected, the payment will be immediately processed. If credit card is selected, you will be redirected from Hooks to the credit card processor site. Please note that while a credit card payment is processing, 
Do not use the forward or back buttons on your browser. Once the payment is complete, the confirmation page will allow you to click the Return to Dashboard link to return to Hooks. If paying by escrow, the issued permit screen will be displayed listing the amended permit numbers as a hyperlink to the permit PDF that can be saved or printed as needed. The permit will be listed on the company dashboard once paid for and amended. Clicking on the permit number hyperlink will open the permit PDF for you to save or print. Please note that if a self-service amend is not canceled or completed, a new amend cannot be started for this permit. This includes amends pending payment in the shopping cart. To cancel an amend before it is pending payment, click the Cancel or Exit button on any available page during the amend process. To cancel an amend from the shopping cart, click the Cancel Amend button next to the applicable permit ID. This concludes the Hooks user tutorial video on how to process a div load self-service amend. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.